William Kinley, the 25th President of the United States, was born on January 29, 1843, in Niles, Ohio, to William Kinley and Nancy Allison Kinley. His father worked as an iron founder and as the manager of a charcoal furnace. Kinley briefly studied at Allegheny College and worked as a school teacher until the start of the Civil War. He enlisted in the Union Army at the age of 18 and was later discharged as a brevet major in 1865. After the war, Kinley became involved in the Republican Party and was elected prosecutor for Stark County in 1869. He went on to win election to the United States House of Representatives in 1877, serving 14 years until his defeat in 1890. Following his tenure in Congress, McKinley ran for governor of Ohio and served two terms from 1892 to 1896. McKinley was selected as the 1896 Republican nominee for president at the Republican National Convention, which was held in St. Louis, Missouri, from June 16 to June 18. He faced William Jennings Bryan in the November general election, who was the nominee for the Democratic Party, the Populist Party, and the Silver Republicans. Kinley was the first presidential candidate since 1872 to win a majority of the popular vote and a majority of electoral votes, 271 to 176. His support was concentrated in the Northeast, the Upper Midwest, and the Pacific Coast. Kinley was inaugurated as the 25th President of the United States on March 4, 1897. He was the first president to be inaugurated with a majority of the popular vote and a majority of electoral votes since 1872. His vice presidents were Garrett Hobart, 1897-1899, and Theodore Roosevelt, 1901, who succeeded him upon his death. During his presidency, Kinley oversaw significant foreign policy changes. He declared war on Spain in April 1898, which led to the Spanish-American War. The war culminated in the U.S. acquisition of Puerto Rico, the Philippines, and Guam. McKinley's engagement in foreign policy steered the nation away from decades of isolationism and toward a more active role in global affairs. McKinley was also an advocate for protective tariffs aimed at supporting U.S. manufacturers. He signed the Dingley Tariff Act in 1897, which raised customs duties by an average of 49% over the levels of the 1890 McKinley Tariff. This policy helped to protect American industries, particularly the steel and manufacturing sectors, and contributed to the country's economic growth during the late 19th century. In his second term, McKinley faced the challenges of the Philippine-American War. He signed the Platt Amendment in 1901, which granted the U.S. sweeping control over Cuba's domestic and foreign affairs. This move was seen as a way to stabilize the region and ensure U.S. interests in the Caribbean. McKinley's presidency was marked by significant domestic policy changes as well. He signed the Forest Reserve Act in 1897, which allowed the president to set aside public lands for forest reserves. This act helped to protect the country's natural resources and promote sustainable forestry practices. On September 6, 1901, McKinley was shot by anarchist Leon Cholgos while attending the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. He died on September 14, 1901, nine days after the shooting, due to complications from gangrene caused by the wounds. Kinley was succeeded by his vice president, Theodore Roosevelt, who went on to become the 26th president of the United States. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.